Thank you. All right, we're live. Another episode of Inside the GIFA. Let me get this shared in other group. All right, let's get over the week five recap. We had a, I guess you could say an upset. A uh, couple of games that pretty much went the way we thought. And crazy thing happened at the Bolts game. Um, <laughs> let's start off with the Cyclones beating the Savages 59 nothing due to the forfeit it's a tough battle tough battle good job Brett thanks <laughs> glad to see you survive bud congratulations on getting a big win it was tough sledding there for a little bit I think the Scott funniest was. part about it was Saturday when we were on our text chat, and I'm like, Grant, what? Your game's over? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely would have rather been playing, but whatever. <laughs> All right, let's get into the next game. Uh, Tomahawks traveling to the Bolts. Bad enough, it started off with only two refs, uh, Menster and myself. And then Tomahawk scored really quick. And then the Bolts surprisingly scored pretty much the answer right after that. And then after the kickoff for the Bolts, there was about five or six stadies running across the field. <laughs> and... Uh, I guess uh, <laughs> the player for the Bolts sniffed it out. I don't know how he saw it because nobody else saw it until the stadies were already on the field. But he grabbed his girl, dipped out in the van, and next minute it was like watching the Goonies with the uh, police chase. You just see like chunk going against like the the fence watching it. I I tried to get him on the the podcast, but McNulty let me down. He's the expert when it comes to uh, having players who have jail time. We all remember the the bad boys of the valley, the predators. Having to get uh, <laughs> let off the prison bus with shotguns and that, so I figured if <laughs> anybody was going to be able to help me get him on the on the thing, would have been McNulty, but we weren't able to. The hell is it? the longest yard? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we tried to get him this one phone call, but. <clears throat> Sorry, Rogers. I let you down. But anyway, other than that, 83 to 6, Tomahawks win. All the action was pretty much in that first quarter. After that, everybody lost focus, <laughs> except for the Tomahawks. <laughs> I mean, it's like I, I said in the the group, every time I think I saw everything today happen, and it was just crazy. But it's funny, though, because, like, I was talking to Boozy afterwards, and Boozy's like, uh, when the stadies were running across the field, he's like, anybody have warrants? And then the next minute he turned around, that guy was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. All right, Nothing next game is me in this league anymore. <laughs> next game, Warriors at Miners. 
Warriors win 51 19. Didn't see it. Not surprised. I heard it was the game in the first half. I think halftime was like 26 9 Warriors. But in the second half, the Warriors were able to shut out the Miners' offense and continue to put up points, and they just took control of the game. Yeah, and one team seemed to be a lot more aggressive. You know, one team being the Warriors were a lot more aggressive right off the top. I mean, it did seem they were they were, they were smacking. You know, I don't like smacking. Was, but you're right, for it was a good. You know, it was close in the first half. But you even watching. I watched about the first half of it. You knew, you know, the Warriors were going to take over. It just felt that way from watching. All right, next game. Wildcats at Spartans. Wildcats win 52-20. From Smurf Village. <laughs> Oh, man, that's wild. I mean, Wildcats did their thing. They actually ran the ball pretty successfully in that game, uh, both by the running back and the quarterback. Uh, I think they scored on their first three possessions. And that's pretty much it after that. I mean, I only watched like the first quarter and a half of it because I couldn't handle it after that. It was tough. <laughs> But, I mean, yeah, surprisingly, the Wildcats ran the ball pretty well. But, I mean, they have run the ball pretty well in other games. They just uh, – they seem to stick with it this time around. Spartans look struggle on offense. Defense really didn't have many answers. Pretty much what we expected. All right, next game. Um, uh, Mustangs at Comanche. Comanche win twenty-two to eight. Depending on who you talk to, you get either <laughs> twenty-two to eight or twenty-six to eight. Uh, I think it was twenty-six to eight. Was it twenty-six to eight? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's what they said. Smokey. <laughs> Any. <laughs> okay, what happened? What is that? A new 400? <laughs> uh, that is. That's a long boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't even. <laughs> Shit. Yo, uh, is wow. he coming on? Wow, Benny. <laughs> coming on the top? <clears throat> He's talking. Oh, wow. There he is. There he is in the comments. <laughs> What's up, Billy? <laughs> Was it six or eight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a cigarette comment. <laughs> six or eight, that's all I need to know. 26, 26 to eight. eight. There you go. He got his eight. No doubt. I mean, it's the norm. It's the norm for, I think, for the Mustangs pretty much so far this season. Their offense struggle, man. Turning the ball over, you know, can't, can't, you don't get, you know, quarterback don't got time, man. Like, as soon as he takes a snap, there's dudes in the backfield. Like, I didn't, I didn't think it was possible to snap the ball and already have dudes in the backfield. Like, they were living back there. You, you, you're not going to be successful if you can't protect the quarterback and you can't open up running lanes. Comanche, no, Comanche, do. They, Comanche, they, you know, they use all four downs, man. They don't give a shit. They'll run the ball on, on third down and six, third down and seven. They don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they, they they did. They used all four downs. They methodically made drives and scored points. Um, I think the one touchdown run they had, the, <laughs> their running back ran like sweep right or toss, or toss left, I mean, or sweep left or something like that. And, like, literally – Probably should have been tackled, like, I don't know, after maybe, like, a six- or a seven-yard gain. 
and somehow tie roped it down the sideline for like a 20 yard TD run. I was like, Jesus. Like they just did, they did what they did, man. I mean, would have been nice to see what a whole game would have looked like. I don't know. Maybe the Mustangs would have, you know, got their shit together a little bit and bounced back in the second half. But, you know, we only got to see a half of, half of the game. And what we did see, like, the Manchin pretty much controlled that game. Yeah. It would be hard to think that they would have, you know, mounted any sort of comeback the way the Comanche were able to, you know, hash them with the running game. I mean, it really was impressive to watch the Comanche. The, you, I mean, you put it right. You put it best methodically, you know, march down the field, run, 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 play action pass. I mean, they had a lot of pulling. Go. It was impressive to watch. Yeah, I mean, that's just they're, – they're notorious for that, though. That's kind of always been their style of offense. Like, they're they're not really a team that, you know, usually gets behind the sticks and, you know, kind of, like, works in their favor. You know what I mean? Usually they they stay ahead of the sticks, man. They, they, they keep themselves in those manageable situations on third and fourth down to be able to make sure they can get it. You know, give it to Kasim or their other running back on – on a handoff for three or four yards, you know, on fourth and one. Like, that's just what they do. Somebody just say stop sleeping on the Mustangs. Yeah, I just like, didn't, didn't we already Mustang, cover this? We Mustangs are struggling, that. man. I'm sorry. Like, it's just the way it yeah. is. Like, defensively, they do all right. They're not bad. Like, but offensively, they have no identity right now. They don't know. They don't have, like, a solid – system a solid group of plays they go to they're not helping their quarterback out look you're not running 30 yard go routes when your quarterback literally takes a snap and the dudes are in the backfield like you got to do something to help him out and it, he is struggling because of it making terrible decisions throwing interceptions like they're not going to help you especially against good teams like you're going to lose those games you turn the ball over, bam, down 26-8 at halftime, basically, is what it came down to. Like, it's not it's not being a dick. It's just realistic. <clears throat> like, you got to do things to help. Like, that's part of being a coach. You know you're struggling off the of your O-line. You know what I mean? You can't protect your quarterbacks. Do something to help him out. Don't keep putting him in situations where he's going to get his dick kicked in. Makes no sense. Run the ball, throw a screen, do something. You said eight teams make the playoffs. Yeah, but you guys haven't beat a team over 500. You haven't beat a team with a, with, with any wins. That's the biggest thing. So you, you, gotta, so you, you and they're so part make, of their schedule. So you make the playoffs. So let me get this right. You make the playoffs, right? You struggle to make the playoffs. You get in and get waxed by 50 or 60 in the first round. What'd you accomplish? Nothing. You got in because the rest of the competition is not as good either. <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense to me. Now, let's talk about, like, the situation at hand, like, why you're struggling and how you fix those problems. Let's right. talk about the fucking playoffs. You worried about the playoffs. You're one and four or whatever the fuck it is. Are you worried about the playoffs? Come on. Be realistic. You're worried about the wrong thing. I watched that Comanche game. Look, it didn't at any point look like you guys were in the game. Got some shit to fix. You want to be a playoff team? You want to you want to make an impact rather than say it on Facebook? You want to make it on the field? Go to work. Do some shit that's going to help you guys out right now because your defense is doing all they can, but it's not going to be enough. <laughs> Billy, so you can't you expect them to go like out there and get stops <laughs> every week. What's that? Billy said you're acting like he's a Mustang. He's not. Who? <laughs> I'm just saying in general. Never <laughs> <laughs> 
right, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Man, you fucked uh, up the whole fight. You should have just let me go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Killed the whole vibe. Well, I'm like, fuck it then. Oh, the fucking room, James man. in here. <laughs> God damn <I'm> it. <laughs> Vikings at Buffaloes. The Vikings win 54 40. Little slug fest out there, huh? It was, it was a good game. game. <laughs> it was a good game. <laughs> Vikings versus Buffalo. So, I mean, it was a good, physical, hard hitting game. I mean, <clears throat> anybody who watched this film knows that the Buffaloes run a unique style of offense that takes a lot of preparation for and they run it well. I mean, they're a disciplined team. Um, they have some they have some really hard hitters. They have guys who will run downhill when you make a tackle, always find a way to fall forward. I mean, they've got they had this tight end number three, just was great at finding his way into a little crease and and being able to catch the ball in traffic situations. Like they're a very talented team. Um we got a bunch of rain when we first got there, but luckily when game time came. Um, that pretty much ended and, and it was back and forth. I mean, obviously our defense made more stops, um, off our offense scored on every drive, but two, we threw one pick and we punted once. Um, <clears throat> but we came out, we scored first and we stayed on top to score the whole game. I mean, we, we expected a very physical game. Uh, we were able to winning the trenches, our offensive line really played well. And I mean, we, we had a balanced attack. We were able to run the ball a lot. We were able to pass the ball offensively. We were able to do what we wanted to do. Uh, and defense was a grind all day. Thor, do you have like a filter on your thing? Cause you look like a, a fucking Picasso painting. I do not. Maybe it's just Bad Michael. service. <laughs> I I do have to add though, the freaking uh, Buffalo's film, probably the best film I've seen in a long time. Yeah, it was pretty good. Was uh, Davis playing quarterback? Yeah. Yeah, he had some dots, man. He had some deep balls that were pretty nice. The one I think on your sideline, like deep in the – like if you're watching the film, it's on the left. It's like going left, right to left, and it's on your sideline in the corner. That was a damn – that was a dot. Right. Yeah, I mean, he's got a great arm. You know, our, our offense is gelling more and more each week. Um, got a lot of weapons that have been stepping up and helping across the board. And <clears throat> the next week, you know. Buffalo's, <laughs> Buffalo's played great, though, man. Like, they had chances in that game to kind of put a little pressure on you guys and, you know, make it a lot tighter of a game. And, you know, things didn't work out. They ended up, I think, punting on – on one, if not both the possessions that I remember seeing. But their run game is what it is, man. I mean, they, they, like I said, you got one of the better defense, especially in the box in the league, and they were still hitting it. They hit that fullback dive. They hit the option play. They Levi Cook's the real deal, man. That guy's, that guy is a fucking beast. <laughs> like, they're Play their action and solid. then quick passes to the – they're, they're a legitimate team. I yeah, mean, I, think that's I really like their coach, me their head them. coach, Coach Cook. Coach who? Coach Cook, their head coach. They have... Damn, Thor. You got that dollar <laughs> service? Jeez. Freeze frame. <laughs> 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 But anyway, 
Yeah. I mean, I think that was the one thing from the Buffalo's offense that, that they did that they needed to do to try to be in that game and make it really close was throw the ball. And I, I thought they did that, you know, relatively well for not really being a notorious passing team. I mean, that game was physical. There was bodies flying everywhere. Dudes were getting hit. I loved it. Zeke says that uh, Thor has the, the Raptors Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on my boy. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was it was definitely a good game, good style of football game. <laughs> I think those two teams might see each other in the playoffs. So Thor, I'm I back. gotta ask you, why are you being compared to Robert Kraft? Does it deal with hey. a happy ending or <laughs> um <laughs> I have no damn idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. That's why you're chuckling like that. No, Sheldon's crazy. I, I don't know. I don't know what he's talking how, about. How do I know it had to be something with Sheldon? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Sheldon's a great guy. Think about the game? He trolls people. Coach Steve? An enrollment officer. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. All right, I guess we'll move on to the last one. Skyhawks at Raptors. <clears throat> Skyhawks win in double overtime, 48-40. Oh, he popped up for this one. <laughs> he popped up for this one. <laughs> he no, said, that what? Was yep, Skyhawks, Raptors, I'm in. <laughs> uh, that, that was a fun game to watch. I mean, back and forth, back and forth. We were talking earlier about number 15. For the Skyhawks, but that that first Five. touchdown pass he threw was on a rope, on a dime. Yeah, they went. They had a couple, um, a couple turnovers right after that. The next two series, and the Raptors came back and scored. I mean, it was, it was one of those games where it's, it's sad that somebody had to lose it, but it was definitely entertaining and worth watching. I think that's my biggest take from it, man. Just it was a turnover fest. <laughs> like the Skyhawks were getting fumbles from the Raptors. The Raptors would get four and outs from the Skyhawks. And then the second half, it was like the opposite. And then they both started fumbling the ball. Like, yeah, bad snaps, bad handoffs. Like, everything was happening. It was turnover central. <laughs> the, I mean, I think it was would have been like the third quarter. It was like Uber. The one fumble on the snap, and it got kicked and rolled to the Raptors. And then they went to grab it. It just like Uber. Did. It was fun. It was entertaining. Congratulations, Skyhawks. <laughs> I mean, Raptors had a chance to win it. You know, they got their possession. They threw a pick on the first play. And then uh, I think it was still tied going in the second overtime, 42-42. Like, nobody scored in the first one. And then uh, they had four plays. Couldn't get it done. And Skyhawks hit them with that same inside run play. They've been running pretty successfully the last couple weeks. I think they ran it three times that I've seen in the last two games and scored three touchdowns on it. And that one was to win the game. It was entertaining, sloppy, entertaining, I guess you could say. <laughs> A lot of turnovers. They got some weapons on the Raptors, though, man. Number 24, that dude's a beast. The other uh, number 22, he's pretty solid, too. He's got to get a pair of hands, though. 
He dropped a wide open screen for a touchdown. I mean, he was he would have walked into the end zone. But yeah, I mean, pretty pretty much a shocker that uh, you know, Skyhawks went down there and pulled that one out. I think we all picked the Raptors to win that. Yep. So, just goes to show you. All right, let's get into the Pickham standings. God, we have a new first place, Coach T. Followed by everybody else. <laughs> I'm not in last. <laughs> Vinny's lone wolf with the buffaloes. Not so good. Damn, Ben. That's all right. We bounce back. That went out quicker than one of Billy's cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into next week. This is Newport's got the slow burn. <laughs> Skyhawks. Oh, no. Rap. What about? Yeah, Skyhawks at Savages. <laughs> Scott Knox win 18 nothing. I'm pretty sure TK's sitting out on that one, so they'll get back to back wins while he's sitting out. <laughs> oh, Yo, why you do you do TK like that, man? That's my <laughs> I'm afraid he's not in my house throwing a helmet at me. <laughs> uh, let's go with Vikings at Spartans. Vikings. Vikings. How about we give me a score? 86 uh, to 12. Vikings. What's that? 86 to 12. Vikings. 72 20. Vikings. Oh, no, they ain't giving up 20. But we're, yeah. going, we're going. To... <laughs> I say 78 to 6. Vikings. Travis, what was your score? 72-20. Wow, 20 points. Shut up. <laughs> that, might, that might be the number of sacks in this game. <laughs> All right, next one. Raptors at Cyclones. Oh, God. Cyclones by... Uh... We'll go. Let's go eighty-four-six. They're getting a they're getting a buck. Let's go one hundred two to fourteen. The disrespect for the Raptors. Yep. Go ahead. Cyclone sixty-eight twelve. All right, Buffaloes at Mustangs. Mm. Buffaloes. Oh, Buffaloes will go, let's go 58, 18. Buffaloes, 62 to 6. I'm real close to Travis. Buffalo 62 18. 62 18? Yeah. Got the Buffaloes 56 22. All right. Tavera says you guys are a running team now. Chill. <laughs> All 
All right, next one, bolts at minors. Minors. Um, That's actually a tough one. 20, 20, 22 to 12. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Brent. Minors. I'm going to go. That's at the minors, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Minors go 32, 24. Vinny? Oh. What Thor take? Thor? Yeah. I'm I'm definitely picking the minors. Honestly, I probably would have went it with whoever the home team was. Um, but no, the, I, I definitely see the minors pulling this out, especially being at home. I think the minors pull it off uh, 42 20. Yeah, I can't jump, I can't jump off the cliff with a team like this. We'll go minors. Uh, did he? <laughs> no, 38 to 20 minors. I can't do it. I thought. Hey, I mean, if you don't I, mind that. If, if the bolts come in as hot as those state troopers did, they might be all right. Yeah, but all their speed left when dude ran away. <laughs> all right. Uh, Wildcats at Tomahawks. That's not game of the week. It may be. What else is left? Warriors at Comanche. Comanche. Oh, oh, wow. God damn. That's you said it's at the Tomahawk, Red Park. No, they don't play yeah. Red Park. Kiss Park. Kiss Park. Kiss Park now. All right. I'm going with the Tomahawks. And a close one, I think it'd be. Let's go Tomahawks forty-two, Wildcats thirty-eight. Yeah, yeah. Tomahawks forty-six, Wildcats thirty. Tomahawks, 46-44. Close one. Thor? Tomahawks, um, 42-38. All right, Vinny. Now your Warriors at Comanche. What do you mean mine? <laughs> My you're what? Wondering, you're wondering what the game of the week was. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's one of those two. I mean, it could go either way. Who are you taking, Trev? Thank you. Well, now I got to go first. I get it. <laughs> no, I'll go first. Fuck it. Warriors. No, I'm going first. I'm going first. I'm going first. Warriors, 5236. Well, that's where I'm going. I'm going Warriors, uh, 48-44. Game's a pretty solid matchup, I think. Both offenses got playmakers, pretty solid O-lines. Both defenses got pretty solid defensive lines. Damn, this is close. Uh, well, it's I'm going to say the Warriors. Comanche, right? Yeah, I got the Warriors. 48-40. Thor? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Let's go. Getting further behind Comanche in the standings. 40. Comanche. <laughs> Comanche 42, Warriors 34. 
Okay. This is just the time of year where Monk starts to win games you don't expect him to win. You, you think that they're out of some of these games, and this is the time of year where he starts to pull things together. I don't want to do the whole same old Warriors because obviously the Warriors definitely seem to be improved and have a lot of talent. But I feel like this is the time of year they slip a game after doing really well. And this is when the Comanche game, when I'm going with Comanche. Honestly, I'm just I'm just not sure if we've seen all that all that the Warriors have to offer. Like, cause most of the, they haven't really faced a whole lot of competition early in the season. So, you know, I mean, definitely a good proving ground week. You know what I mean? But I don't know right now. I just got to – they're hot, man. They feel good about what they're doing. They're playing with a lot of swag. <laughs> Winning's contagious. Yeah. I mean, you know, you've seen them do it before. It's not like they haven't gone, you know, 8, 9, and 0 or whatever it was a couple years ago before they lost their first game. So, I'm not saying that Comanche can't do it either. I, I definitely feel like this game's pretty even. Like I said, both both offensive have playmakers, good offensive lines. You know, good. Definitely, both both teams have good running backs. Both have pretty pretty solid defensive lines. You know, secondaries are pretty good. Defense across the board's pretty good. I mean, I don't I don't think it gets any more even. I think if the Warriors want to make a statement. Oh, and, you know, they really about that this year. This is probably a good game. Comanche, obviously, you know, started off a little slow. This could be a huge game for them. This is a huge game for them as well. You know, build momentum, pick up the steam, like Thor said. I mean, this is it's a pretty good, pretty good matchups this week. I think either one of those games could be game of the week, no doubt. Might end up both being game of the week. I was leaning towards Miners Bolts. I mean, yeah, if you want to pick that end of the spectrum, absolutely. <laughs> That's a good point there. <clears throat> what did you Somebody say earlier? Go. Somebody said, go. oh, got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Fegley wants to know if Zeke has over 100 yards this season. Uh, why don't you look at the website and find out? <laughs> All right, we got anything else? Anything else to talk about? This was a pretty short episode. Hey, they all can't be an hour and a half, you know what I mean? <laughs> we haven't had an hour and a half one since probably episode one. I don't know. I felt like last week's was pretty long. I think it was like an hour and 12. It's pretty long. Sometimes it's just short, sweet, to the point. Let's go, man. Week six, back half of the year. That's where shit gets real. This is also the point where uh, of the season where I don't have to worry about roster adjustments after Friday for the whole <laughs> rest of the season. <laughs> this week is the last week to add any players. Who the hell is head tap? Head head what? Head tap? Yeah, I know he's a raptor, but who the hell is he? Frankie, Showtime, Camacho. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he got that, I think, week one. What, head tap? Yeah, he, like, tapped his head, ran a fade route. I'm also dude for... Extra point or some shit. I don't even touch down. I can't remember. 
ever since then. For an extra point. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all they put him in for in the game on Saturday. I don't remember. I mean, that was back in week one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> they tried to do it Saturday, too. Freaking head tap. <laughs> <laughs> You know, these guys got some wild names, man. Just do some shit. <laughs> That's up there with, like, being called radio. <laughs> <Head down. laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, well, if we got nothing else, I guess that's it. <laughs> no, nope, I think we can, we can leave it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to end things, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, just murdered that dude. <laughs> All right, good luck this week. Keep it football. Have a good one, guys. Be safe. Later. Later.